Access granted. Hey everyone, it's me Sunshine, and today we are talking about a very nifty, very unique little game called The Stranger Next Door. Now, I met Faye Daunt at PAX Australia 2022, and we had a little bit of a chat about her game. Let's go have a look. So maybe, um, maybe we could go to this one, because this is our text-based game, The Stranger Next Door. Now, this is the completely um, text-based game that I was telling you about. It's really cool, and they've made it work with PAX. So it starts off by following the story, and then it switches over to someone actually at PAX, which is pretty wicked. So The Stranger Next Door is the game, and we are talking to Faye Daunt. How you doing? Hi, this is Faye Daunt. I met her the other day. Um, my name's Sunshine, by the way. Oh, nice I, to meet I'm you. from Stuff by Sunshine, which we do uh, illustrating and um, retro gaming stuff. Excellent. And that's why we're doing the, the stuff here in the in the indie game section because it's kind of more of our jam. Yeah, know? yeah, I can understand that. There's a little bit of like uh, rawness and like just doing what they kind of feel like yeah. would be exciting rather totally. than heavily pushing towards like a particular market. Yeah, I mean for me I'm terrible at the first person shooters and that sort of stuff and it's not really my jam because I love the story based things and you don't get that with like the, I don't know, those out there. <laughs> All the things I'm terrible at. Okay, so first up, give yeah. me the pitch. Oh no, I've given so many disastrous <laughs> pitches this weekend. Okay, so it is a narrative-based story about three friends kind of getting that idea of a niche internet communities, like the kind that you would have found on Tumblr and whatnot, yeah. of, you know, close friends, maybe a little bit weird. Anyway, one of them... It's basically us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of them, Robin, has uh, come home from being away. They're staying at their parents' house and there is a neighbor who has moved in next door. We're talking textbook creepy things, standing at a window, just like staring out, <laughs> painting in the rain with like the, the paint dripping down the walls. Oh, uh, why? Oh. Robin has freaked out and jumped on wherever they can go, like weird subreddits, trying to find someone who can help. And you as the player, get this email being like, I found your email somewhere, I just need help. Even if you don't know, I just need someone to talk to. Okay. And that's kind of what sets this off. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. I was having a look at it yesterday mm. and um, I like that you guys have integrated in the packs. Yes. Stuff. <laughs> so it is, the whole thing is meant to be, I'm going for horror, but I don't want any jump scares, yeah, right? I, I want that kind that. of emotion and tension building over time. And at the moment, the game's about four and a half hours long. Okay. And I don't, I can't make you sit down and play at PAX for four Obviously, and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I did condense it into a 10 minute story yes. about why there are less people here on Sunday than there were on Friday. Ooh. Mm. So you've got a you've got a brand new story than yesterday. Uh, a little bit more, yes. A wow! Bit more. But I'm impressed. <laughs> everyone else says that it's absolutely ridiculous that I keep making new versions of the game while working at PAX, but <laughs> it makes it fun, doesn't it? It does. I mean, if you continue to make new versions of the game throughout the game's lifespan, that would be awesome like you get people coming back to play it all the time well one of the things that i did was i wanted to make sure that uh it was very easy for if for example i brought someone into the the company that wanted to write their own thing um it's actually very easy to write more content and it just kind of slots in yeah so that's nice the idea being that if I finish this and then someone else wanted to kind of play around with the whole messaging system, you can just throw, build a twine and there's a, a system that'll take it and turn it into messages. What, for what's a twine? It's like a dialogue system that's very visual. So you have like a box and you put the words in and then you choose the paths. No coding needed whatsoever. So it's really good for people interested in making game narrative yeah. without needing any extra skills. That sounds awesome. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, hopefully it means you can expand really easily as well yeah. if you get more people here. That would be nice because yeah. at the moment, 
I'm gonna be honest, it's really kind of just me. And it's a lot of work but to do. But we love you. Like, look at everything that you've done here. Oh, like, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, where can we get it at the moment? Is it out? So I'm looking for a release hopefully by the end of the year. Okay. Right? Um, but there, I have a Twitter up at the moment where I'll be posting things and okay, whatnot. Great. Just, uh, it's TSND game or you can just search The Stranger Next Door, which is okay. the name of the game. Yeah. Okay, well we can definitely do that. I'm, I'm making a sheet for everyone that's watching of all the details of everyone that we've spoken to so it's easy enough to find. So hopefully we, when it does come out we can pounce on it and attack. Because <laughs> we love this kind of game. Like This is something that I would play. Very happily I would play this because it's different, you know? Mm. Yeah. I've I've tried to I tried to make something that made it feel like there was a story that was running parallel to your life, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Getting that that idea of like a friend messaging you rather than it being like, oh, time to boot up the console and start the game. Yeah. It's just it's there. It's wow. very relatable. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Well thank you so much thank for Thank you so much for us. stopping by. That was a really good pitch. <laughs> Okay, like you were like, oh, I don't know. It's just, it went, work, it went very well. Thank you. You convinced me. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave you to it. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your time. Oh, actually, is there any, hang on. We should ask if there's any questions. Guys, have you got any, any quest? Wait, where am I looking? Have you got any questions? <laughs> Why was I looking over there? Do you guys have any questions for our lovely friend here? This is a question. We can always come back if we've got questions. <laughs> day of the Tentacle costume. Yes, I am MSC. I am wearing a it Day of the a Tentacle very good costume. Outfit. I didn't want to Thank interrupt you. by like saying, but yes. <laughs> Thank you. I feel I feel really excited when anyone recognizes me. I'm like <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, what was the date of release? So uh, end of the year, I think you Sorry? said end of the year. For Hopefully by the end of the year. Oh, I will mention as well, just in case anyone's worrying, it can run on a potato. It is the most lightweight thing that you can imagine. Uh, it has screen reader support. You can install dyslexic fonts if you're having problems with that. I'm really going for accessibility yeah, as much that. as possible. I really like that. Um, and we've also got a question, is, is it PC? Based. Is it PC? Like PC based, like the running system, operating system? At the moment, it's looking at Apple and Android. But once I finish that, what I want to do is make a little version of it where when you launch it, it makes a fake phone that you can move to the side oh, while you're doing other things. That's a good idea. Just in case, yeah. Great. We're also digging into this game, it says. So thank you so much. You I'm so glad much. we stayed around for some questions. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. See, it's different, you know? This is, I think, the great thing about this place is everything's like a little bit different. And that was The Stranger Next Door. I really liked this game because it was the only text-based one I saw and that kind of really stood out to me. If you guys want to find out more about The Stranger Next Door, you can have a squiz at the links below and that will take you to all of the things. Otherwise, if you want to see more of the interviews and chats that I had at PAX this year, please head back to the YouTubes. That is it. Thank you very much for being here, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.